what makes you attracted to someone? You may have a list of traits or features you commonly find attractive in others, but there's another list of weird things that may subconsciously attract you to others as well. You're likely unaware of these bizarre situations or features that attract others, things you may not even realize. Like, how can being nervous possibly benefit you on a date? Does it matter which ear you speak into when first talking to someone? And how does watching a movie about a terrifying clown increase your chances of a second date? We're about to explain why. Here are five weird things that can increase attraction. You know, eat your green vegetables. Eating more fruits and veggies may just increase your chances in the dating world. Like Spider-Man always says, work out, get plenty of rest, you know, eat your green vegetables. According to a 2017 study published in Evolution and Human Behavior, Peter Parker may be right. The study found that female study participants were less attracted to the odors of male participants who ate refined carbs. They were instead more attracted to the participants who had more fruits and vegetables in their diet. The study notes that the greater fruit and vegetable intake was significantly associated with more pleasant smelling sweat, with more floral, fruity, sweet, and medicinal qualities. Independent of sweat intensity, who knew Spider-Man's pits could smell so sweet? The propinquity effect. Simply being near someone repeatedly over an extended period of time may build your attraction to them and or form a strong relationship with them. This is called the propinquity effect in psychology. According to the American Psychological Association, it's the tendency of individuals to form close relationships with people they repeatedly encounter. That is, the more often one comes into contact with another person, the more likely it is that one will form a friendship or romantic relationship with that person. So simply going on your routine walk in that crowded park and noticing the same familiar faces soon may have you finding some of those faces attractive or generally feeling closer to them. Or seeing that same pizza delivery guy every week may just have you craving more than just pizza. Psychologist Nick Hobson explained to Bustle that our brains like that sense of familiarity, adding that we then take that feeling of the familiar and convince ourselves that the pleasantness it induces within us is because of the attraction itself. So, attraction or familiarity? Hmm, pizza time. Misattribution of emotions. Ah, your first movie date. Romantic comedy or horror movie? Well, I love Sleepless in Seattle. Ah, uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Who doesn't love Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan? But a classic romantic comedy may not be the way to go this time. In a famous 1973 study on the psychology of attraction, psychologists Donald Dutton and Arthur Ehring had an attractive female experimenter ask male subjects between the ages of 18 to 35 a series of questions. In order for the male test subjects to get to the female experimenter, they had to cross a bridge. Half of the men had to cross a high rickety bridge, while the other half crossed a stable and low bridge. The experimenter then showed each subject an ambiguous image and asked them to tell a story about what could be taking place in that picture. At the end of the questionnaire, the woman then gave each man her phone number and said they could call her if they had any questions about the study. When looking at the results, the men who crossed the unstable, adrenaline-inducing bridge wrote stories on their questionnaire that included more sexual content and imagery than those on the low bridge. And only two out of the 16 subjects went over the low, stable bridge, called the female experimenter back, while half of those who crossed the high, scary bridge called the woman after the experiment was finished. Researchers Dutton and Ehring theorized that the scary bridge created feelings of arousal in subjects. Subjects misattributed this arousal as feelings for the attractive female experimenter. This is known as misattribution of emotions. So if someone goes on an exciting, adrenaline-inducing date, they may mistake these feelings of arousal as feelings for you. The same thing can happen if you're watching a scary film or horror movie. A lot of people love watching horror films due to that intense energy the movie elicits from them. Psychologist Nick Hobson further explained to Bustle that putting someone in a high energized emotional state may make them more attracted to who they're with than if they met them during a calm setting. Hobson notes that, we incorrectly believe that the excitability we're experiencing is because of the energy in the interaction with a potential partner. A night in watching the horror film, It with pizza delivered, sounds like a date to me. Who knew Pennywise the Clown could make you feel such a way? The right ear or the left ear? 
People may just like what you have to say if they hear it first in a certain side of your ear, at least according to a 2009 study from researchers in Italy. Researchers Danielle Marzoli and Luca Tomasi had a woman request a smoke from a total of 176 people at a club. The people she spoke to, male or female, were twice as likely to give her a cigarette if she directed her question towards their right ear. The study states that in their last study, subjects showed a greater proneness to meet an experimenter's request when it was directly addressed to the right rather than the left ear. Many believe this is due to language processing taking place primarily in the brain's left hemisphere, and the left side of the brain receives its auditory input from the right ear. It seems it's just the right side to talk to, right? Am I right? Nervousness, for better or for worse. A 2020 study published in the journal Adaptive Human Behavior and Physiology found that, yes, people are often nervous around someone they like. The study states that participants reported that they did indeed experience a cluster of anxiety-related physiological and behavioral reactions during an initial encounter with someone they found highly attractive. But what if it's not such a bad thing after all? The study explains that nervous responses benefit in finding someone that reciprocates those feelings of attraction. Behavioral analyst, Dr. Wendy L. Patrick, PhD, explains in an article for Psychology Today that this point in the study might be particularly true given that nervous reactions include positive affect, such as smiling and laughing. Patrick goes on to explain that the study's researchers point out that although we might think that nervous reactions could create an impression of being awkward, clumsy, or uncomfortable, such responses could be evidence of romantic interest and trigger reciprocity. Makes sense, doesn't it? Wouldn't you wanna know if someone was just as nervous as you were because they liked you back? That may just make things easier when you ask them out on a date next. Pizza time? Were you surprised to learn how these things increase attraction? Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Are you now motivated to ask someone you like out? When in doubt, Take a piece of good old advice and veggie pizza and ask them out to watch a movie. It, chapter two, or maybe good old Spider-Man. Oh, and remember to ask them in the right ear first. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.